My name is Johnny Kim. I'm from Los Angeles, California, and I'm a Navy SEAL and physician. Ladies and gentlemen, the newest NASA astronaut, Jonathan Kim. You're a Navy SEAL with a degree from Harvard Medical School. Dr. Jonathan Kim. That's just ridiculous. Exploration is written in our human DNA. When I realized that being an astronaut is really the opportunity to expand our understanding of the cosmos, to make our world a better place, all while inspiring the next generation of children. You, Julian. The same children that didn't have the confidence to dream like I did. That was when I realized that I absolutely wanted to be an astronaut. Like a lot of immigrant families, my parents moved to America with the hope of the American dream that their children can have a better opportunity in this world. I had a hard time growing up as a kid. I lacked a lot of things, but the biggest thing I lacked was confidence. I wake up every day and I think about the opportunities I've had. It's hard for me to believe that I'm that same person. No, you just beam, right? You spend so much effort and, and hope, and then you try to give whatever the student needs to, to grow and get where they want to be. And then when you see that they get there, it's, mm. it's just thrilling. It makes me immensely proud to be part of an organization to achieve such a monumental challenge like returning to the moon. And that's what really excites me when I think of Artemis. The lives that we're going to positively impact on this endeavor. It's hard to articulate all of those emotions, but it's wow. I am an astronaut and I have this amazing opportunity to serve my country and humanity. To me, he is service about self. I would trust my life to him, and I'm very proud to call him my friend. generation Korean American. Uh, my parents were South Korean immigrants who came to America in the early 80s for the hope of a better future for their children. I was born and raised in Los Angeles, California, where I graduated from Santa Monica High School in 2002. I then joined the Navy and enlisted to be a SEAL and I did a couple of deployments overseas, at which point I was inspired to pursue a career in medicine. I fundamentally believed in the NASA mission of advancing our space frontier, um, all the while developing innovation and new technologies that would benefit all of humankind. I was in the middle of grocery shopping at the store when I got the call and it was, we were expecting the call and it was just a very surreal moment, I don't think I'll ever forget it, but I think my heart was racing 100 beats a second and I tried not to lose my composure in the middle of the grocery store, um, but once I got the news and I hung up, I ran over to my wife and I was jumping up and down and I was telling her. Uh, that we got in. I was always interested in science in high school. And for me, I knew going to college wasn't the right answer for me immediately. I, I wanted to join the Navy, but once I decided that I wanted to go to medicine, studying math to me was very important. And without trying to sound too philosophical, I feel like math and just the STEM fields in general are, are such a, you know, the, the portals to truth. I would tell my younger self that that failure is something to be embraced and that 
Every mistake is an opportunity to learn and improve, and that all things that are worthwhile are very difficult to obtain.